good morning dear students welcome back again with the new session of science to lesson number 17 introduction of biotechnology we have already discussed about different types of tissues now we are going to study about the biotechnology is application and certain new terms in the field of different types of tissues so let's start with that some cells in the body of living organisms are totipotent that is if provided a proper environment a new organisms can grow from these cells so automatically new organisms develop this process is called as totipotence it was realized that with the help of this property of the cells and the genetically controlled biochemical processes varieties of high yielding crops and new species of animals and various plants could be produced this led to the rise of new branch of biology and that is called as biotechnology and thus the birth of biotechnology took place because of the property of totipotency that is of their own the certain part of the organism starts redeveloping or growing so now what is actually biotechnology we are we have come across the biotechnology but since lack of awareness we are not knowing where is actually biotechnology being used now with the help of this technique it has become possible to produce plants and animals bearing some new characteristics in addition to the natural ones the techniques of bringing about improvements in living organisms by artificial genetic changes and by hybridization hybridization implies here mixing of the characteristics for the welfare of human beings are together called as biotechnology it includes the techniques of genetic engineering and tissue culture its uses are in the production of cash crops improvement in varieties of cash crops increase in abilities of plants to withstand environmental stresses vaccine production early diagnosis of congenital diseases organ transplant cancer research production of artificial skin cartilage etc in laboratories so there is a vast scope of biotechnology but we are not aware of it the so first of all we will discuss about tissue culture suppose you want to grow a garden like one shown in the picture around your home or in school what you do you do to achieve that by which method will you cultivate these seedlings you must have seen flowers of same variety but of two or three different colors born by same plant how is this possible let us learn about a modern technique related to farming and gardening ex vivo growth of cells or tissues is an aseptic and nutrient rich medium is called a tissue culture nowadays a complete organism can be developed from a single cell or single cell or from tissue with the help of tissue culture technique a liquid solid or gel like medium prepared from agar agar is a gel jelly substance which supplies nutrients and energy necessary for tissue culture is used in this technique now what are the waste process of tissue culture that is shown in this picture source plant from the source plant one part is taken as bulb corn of source plant now from that a primary treatment is done inside the bottle that multiplication or reproduction is taking place the shooting and rooting takes place inside the bottle with the proper care and then primary hardening is taken place in the soil outside the bottle 
and then secondary hardening is being done and again a new plant is being prepared so from one part of the plant a new plant can be grown easily this is nothing but called as tissue culture now changes in agricultural management due to biotechnology genetically modified crops or in short form we call as gm crops are being produced by introducing changes in the dna of natural crops normally such varieties are not found in nature thus new varieties are produced artificially different useful characters are introduced in such varieties ability to withstand environmental stress some normally some naturally occurring varieties cannot withstand environmental stress like frequently changing the temperature wet and dry ferments changing climate etc however gm crops can grow in any of such adverse condition as gm crops are resistant to insects pests pathogens chemical weedicides etc the use of harmful chemicals like pesticides can be avoided due to use of seeds of gm crops there is improvement in the nutritive values and decrease in the loss of the crops in this way the seeds of better quality of crops are being produced farmers all over the world are cultivating gm crops on large scale the area under its cultivation is increasing day by day high yielding varieties of gm crops like banana maize rice potato soya bean tomato cotton apple brinjal papaya beet rose tobacco wheat etc are available pest resistant genes have been introduced in some of these gm crops for example maize amo8810 amo863 then potato and flora then rice golden rice soya bean visitive gold tomato vaishali and cotton is named as bt cotton in this way a green revolution is being achieved through tissue culture and a country like india with a huge population is meeting with success in producing sufficient food grains for all establish your own nursery near your school or home prepare the seedlings of flowering plants fruit plants and ornamental plants being grown in your area can you start a business in the future with the help of this activity of course we can start it if we do it on a large scale application of biotechnology in floriculture nurseries and forestry nurseries are necessary for various purposes like growing gardens on a large scale a forestation reforestation etc means increasing the forestation increasing and developing that seedlings have to be supplied in large numbers for all these purposes it is profitable in such cases to produce plantlets with the help of tissue culture techniques tissue culture can be used to grow those plants on large scale which bear flowers fruits for excellent quality full fully grown plants can be produced in short durations plants can be grown on a large scale even if means of pollination or germinating seeds are not available for example orchids or pitcher plant do not germinate but these plants can easily be produced by means of tissue culture in a bio reactor cells can be grown in more nutritive medium and protected from pathogens bio reactors are useful for producing plantlets on a very large scale then large number of seedlings plantlets can be produced in a short 
time using minimum resources or materials. Usually, plants produced by genetic modification techniques are disease free. Plantless produced by tissue culture of marriage systems are virus free. Embryos formed by conventional hybridization technique between two or more varieties may grow fully to some reasons for some reasons. However, embryos produced by tissue culture technique always complete their growth. Rare and endangered plants can be grown by tissue culture technique and can thus be protected from extinction. Similarly, various parts and seeds of plants can be preserved by tissue culture and those varieties can be protected. These are the uses of tissue culture and biotechnology in case of plants. Next year, we will study the use of this technique in the medical field and for conservation of animals. The remaining part of this lesson, we will discuss it in the next video. Till then, have a great day.